Okay, today we are in front of the Medeco pinning station because I am going to be discussing a technique for assembling the old style of 20 series key and knob slash key and lever cylinder from Medeco when you are master keying it. I asked my friend Jeff Moss if he knew this trick when it comes to reassembling when they are master keyed and he did not, which is surprising because he knows uh, an unhealthy amount of stuff about Medeco. So um, I guess we'll add to that list today and show them how this is done. Now in a properly done master key system, your top level master key will have shallower and deeper cuts, uh, sometimes plural, sometimes singular, in certain positions than say the change key or any lower level master keys. And the reason that is, is because yes, progressives, but also because a proper master key system will have a master key that is designed and laid out with certain criteria in mind to, uh, I guess, increase the security as much as reasonably possible. And of course, if you want to read about this, it's, it's out there pretty prevalent. Uh, Matt Blaze wrote an article about it many years ago uh, detailing the specific, uh, I guess, vulnerabilities associated with that. Uh, the good news is that on a patented system, and if you do the rules right, you know, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, in today's case, we're using a, a medical original keyway, so I guess there is some concern of that because the keys are no longer patented. But that's neither here nor there. The, the point of this video is to show you how to reassemble one of these uh, in a way that maybe you don't know or already know. Uh, but if you do, just humor me and, and watch along. Now, normally when you are pinning up Medicos uh, for master keying, it, it doesn't matter that the master key may be shallower and deeper in some cuts as opposed to the change key or any other key. Um, for example, uh, this is a Medico mortise cylinder. You can see that there are set screws in the top of the cylinder. Now the reason that is is because Medico top loads in nearly all cases these days. Uh, here's a 32 series interchangeable core, their proprietary interchangeable core. And you can see again you load from the top and then you put a cap or I guess a spring cover, really need to get my terminology right. Here's the newer version of the uh, 20 series. And the way this works, if I have one, oh yeah, I've got one here. This particular one, um, so I get it to focus, has a channel that a new style of uh, spring cover is inserted into using just a, a special tool and when I say special tool I mean that's it it just helps you push it in there and align it and all that but as opposed to the older style 20 series where the cap was physically crimped on this makes top loading the newer 20 series uh, so much easier so you can just top load put your springs use this special tool I think they call it a Kit Kat tool don't know why uh, pressure springs down and then you slide that spring cover into a channel and it locks in place with tabs that lock into the chamber itself either uh, fifth chamber or the second chamber I guess depending on the orientation in which you put it in um, but that wasn't the case with the older style 20 series and there are still plenty out there so what happens is, is when you, we'll just put the master key in here if I can get the pins to play nice. Okay, so I've put the pins in the first two chambers. You can see that we're at the shear line in the second chamber, but we are not in the first chamber. You can see the bottom pin is at the shear line and this was resting above it. Now on normal pin tumbler uh, cylinders, this isn't a, a problem because you can do, uh, you can just put the pins all in there. And once you're done, push against the follower and reassemble that way. The problem with Medeco and other cylinders that are high security, and I guess we can cover that one day, is that in order to reassemble it, you need to depress the sidebar. And you know, it's it's kind of it's impossible to 
retract the sidebar and get all of those pins in just using the operating key. So you have to figure out a way to get, I'm losing pins, to get all those pins in there while also depressing the um, sidebar. Now, there's a few ways you can do that. Number one, um, you can load your top pins in and then on top of the top pins you can put your master pin. That's one way. It's a pain in the butt way, but it's one way. The other way is that you could take a uh, either a miscut blank, hopefully, or just another blank and cut it all to the deepest cuts and the right angles of the keys in the cylinder. And what that'll do is create an incidental master key, which will allow you to get all the pins in there at the right angles. And at the shear line, the sidebar will retract and you can reassemble it. And I guess one other way you could do it if you wanted, you could take that cap off. I don't know why you'd want to, God help you, but you could do that if you wanted. Uh, and in fact, on the older style 20 series, if you mess up, that cap's gotta come off. Um, although I guess technically you can shim a Medico cylinder, uh, but that's an, another story for another day. Um, so there's three methods to do it. Uh, what I like to do in this method that I was talking to Jeff about allows you to reassemble without manually top loading, without cutting a key or without removing the cap. And this is probably the most efficient way to do it. The way you can do this is if you press against the sidebar slightly, not all the way in, because if you press it all the way in, you're gonna bind out with the pins and you're not gonna be able to uh, get them to go all the way because the sidebar legs are gonna bind against the gates themselves. But what you wanna do is you wanna just press it in slightly enough to where it's going to reinsert into the plug. And then while you're depressing the sidebar, you wanna go ahead and start loading your pins. And what this is gonna do is when the sidebar is depressed, it's going to manually align those gates as if there was a key in there. And so throughout the whole process, you're gonna wanna, if I can get it in there, you're gonna wanna keep this depressed. If you let it go, you're gonna have to start over. But if we can keep it depressed the whole time, we can mimic that incidental master key, I guess, or any, it doesn't matter. Very similar to, um, I guess, the Schlage Primus and to some extent the Multilock MT5 if, if you're familiar with any of those platforms or have worked on them. In fact, they make tools that kind of do just what I'm doing right now to hold the cylinder in place, but to my knowledge, Medico does not. So you have to kind of do this manually. But really doesn't matter anymore because like I said they have introduced a new version of the 20 series so these are now I guess finite and their numbers are shrinking every day hopefully so I've got it all loaded I still got my sidebar pressed in with my fingers I'm going to insert the plug against the follower and this is kind of a tight fit but once I've got it in to where the sidebar is depressed by the shell of the cylinder itself, I can kind of let go and let it do its thing. I'll put it in, twist to lock it. Now's a good time to put on the clip so that if, when I'm trying it out, everything doesn't go flying and I have to do this all over and make another video. Okay, so we've got it in there and now our master key works. And our change key works. Obviously need some lubricant, but you get the point. So that's a way you can reassemble the older style 20 series with nothing more than your thumb, which you hopefully already have if you're pinning these up. Don't need any special tools, no special cut incidental master keys. Don't have to remove the cap. Don't have to load it uh, with the top pins. Um, that can be a real pain for your one and two masters. Uh, three, four, and five kind of give you a little grip, but still it's no fun. And unfortunately, I've had to do that before, and it just slows down the whole process. 
Uh, and especially if you're doing a lot of these at once or you do them often enough or service them often enough that you run into these situations, it's, it's a heck of a lot cheaper to do it this way than cutting all those incidental masters. So that's my trick with the older style 20 series. Um, like I said, if, if you've got any ideas for future videos, I'm running out of both suggestions as well as my own ideas because I'm not a very smart man. But leave a comment, message me on Twitter. The instructions are all in the description. Thank you for watching.